Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gigi and this is all about Claws, the season finale of, of season three. The finale of season three. <laughs> so um, it opens up and it's Desna's birthday and Roller is just pulling out all the stops. He's got a party planned for her and he makes her breakfast in bed and the whole shenanigans. But of course, it wouldn't be Desna's birthday if shit wasn't going crazy and it totally is going crazy. So, um, I don't even know where to begin, honestly, because so many things happened in this episode. I will say that as far as season finales go, it's not my favorite of the three seasons. Um, the previous seasons had really left it with more of a cliffhanger, I want to say, I guess, really. Um, and I hope that's not telling of anything. I mean, they did leave it open-ended. There are, there are still things going on that you would want to be caught up on. So... I, I, I've not heard that there's any word on renewal or cancellation for the show yet. So let's just hope we're getting a season four on this because I'm obsessed with claws. I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose it. So um, let's break it down. So basically what's going on in the episode is Desna is trying to keep the triad dude happy and interested in what she has to offer. Why? I'm not really sure. It seemed like his eye had moved away from her and that she would somehow be able to get out of this mess, but no, she wants deeper in. And she convinces him that she has got the new governor in her pocket, and as long as he wins the election, she can guarantee him that they'll be able to open new casinos. So she talks to Anne and tells Anne, I really need you to get your brother to meet with this dude, uh, Benedict. But you can tell right away, Anne's not gonna play. She says that she's gonna do it, but you know she's not. She is not gonna do it. Now she goes to the cops and says that she knows something about a dirty cop. And I think she did that just so that it would get back to Benedict. Um, and I'm not sure what the whole play was there because it didn't seem to really make anything happen. But she convinces Desna that she has got her brother to meet with Benedict. Sorry, I'm rubbing my foot, it kind of hurts. You can tell that you could probably see I'm doing something. It was just my foot hurts. I, I've been trying to get back into yoga and I was doing some poses that are more foot intensive and my foot is a little sore. But um, anyway, sorry, <laughs> a little tangent. <laughs> um, so she convinces Desna, I swear I got some hair in my mouth just now. She convinces Desna, oh, she doesn't have to really try, she just tells Desna, okay, my brother's gonna meet with him. So they set it up. Um, in the meantime, Polly finds out, well, she had found out last week, which I'm sure I mentioned, that Joe is actually married and so she confronts him about it and he's like yeah bitch i'm married and then polly says the funniest thing she goes well you got to choose between the woman you play bills with or the woman you kills with and he's like then we're breaking up boo because i love my wife we're i'm not breaking that up so polly gets devastated and she runs directly back into the arms of dr ken who dumps his furry girlfriend for her and i'm like Dr. Ken, I know you like Polly and all, but she really, if somebody at more exciting comes along, Polly is going to dump you like a hot potato. So really, why, why are you, why? Stay with your little furry, I like to dress up like a skunk chick and, you know, just have fun, have little furry babies or whatever. Um, so Uncle Daddy's, nonsense where he because everything really roller being in trouble right now because he is last week at the end of the episode toby had confessed to the police and thrown roller under the bus so roller gets arrested and it starts to come out what uncle daddy has done 
in framing Clint for everything and roller killing him and protecting Toby. And so Jen finds out and Jen forces him at Desna's party to tell the truth. Roller kicks his ass pretty basically. I mean, not super hard or anything, but uh, is like, dude, I, I'm done with you. And him and Desna split. They sort of decide that because Roller has been arrested, of course, so they decide that they're going to leave and that this party is their way to tell everyone goodbye. And so they leave, but Roller's like, no, nah, I can't let you do this. I'm going to go ahead and turn myself in. So he does. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. All of a sudden that came up on me. Uh, but then Desna's not having it and she gets the crew together and breaks him out of, you know, they're in the bus on the way to, um, to jail and which is weird cause he's not had a trial or anything. So, I mean, they hold you in county jail when you're waiting for trial, they don't put you in prison. So where were they going? But, um, she fucking shoots the sheriff dude. And they break him out of the... And everyone leaves. All the prisoners leave the bus. So I'm like, okay, what are we doing? And so then he takes off. And he was gonna... They were gonna leave together, but she's like, dude, I cannot leave Dean. And so she's like, but as soon as everything's chill and safe, I'm gonna come find you. He leaves on the boat. And she goes uh, to find Dean. Um... So, in the meantime, um, Anne is at the casino with the dude, uh, Benedict, telling him, wait here in the office and I will bring my brother to you. But you can't have your phone, you can't have any guards because it's, he's a politician, you can't have any blackmailing bullshit later. So, which, that's not what she says, I'm paraphrasing, but you get it. And, um... So, she locks him in the office. They tell everyone on the loudspeaker inside the casino there's been a bomb threat and everyone needs to evacuate. They empty the casino completely clean and then pour gasoline all over the place and light that bitch on fire with Benedict in the office. Dean calls uh, Desna. Desna says, I'm on my way. She's gets there she's in front of the casino and Anne walks up to her and says and she looks at her and then she looks back at the casino and Anne goes yeah I killed Benedict too and she goes too you burned down the casino she's like yep you weren't going to take care of this nonsense so I had to and um then she takes off and Desna's just standing there like I don't even fucking know and that was the end of the episode. Oh, and uh, just as an aside, also Virginia broke up with Dean like she should because Dean, that Mahjong shit was ridiculous. And if he can, if he's that easily pulled into things, which he is because of his situation, he's probably just not the right guy for her. And that's fine. You know, I really like Virginia. I want her to be happy. So, honestly, I'm just so, I just found the episode to not be the best. I was really kind of disappointed with how it ended this season. Um, but even having said that, I mean, everybody's seriously up there, Annie, this year. People killing others right and left in this show. All of the ladies have taken their uh, gangster game to a new level and so it's not like I didn't love the season. I just thought that that last episode could have given us more. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm clearly super, super tired. Also, I had a about 60 milligram edible earlier. And I think it's really starting to hit me. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, um, thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you for enjoying and coming every week to watch my claws reviews. I'm really, really grateful. I am gonna start doing some sort of Netflix or Hulu sort of reviews coming up. Um, and also in October, uh, I've got a little something special planned. So stay
stay tuned for that. Be sure that you subscribe because we've still got over a hundred videos to get through this year together. So thank you. Thumbs up, subscribe button, share the video, leave me a comment, and I will see you in the next video, maybe tomorrow. Not really sure, but maybe not. Maybe not.